Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you three methods in finding the derivative of this expression f of x raised to g of x. For sure you know already how to find the derivative if uh, f is constant or g of x is constant. But here we're going to consider the case wherein both f and g are not constants. So we're going to discuss uh, three methods. And the last method is for me the fastest way to find the derivative of such an expression. Let's consider the following problem. So find the derivative of y with respect to x if y is equal to x raised to tangent x. So let's uh, find the derivative okay, uh, using our first method. So this is uh, method 1. And uh, this method is called uh, logarithmic differentiation. So logarithmic differentiation. So here we're going to uh, take the deriv uh, logarithm of both sides and then we do implicit differentiation and then solve for y prime. So if we have there uh, y equal to x raised to tangent of x, okay, then if we take the ln, the natural logarithm of uh, both sides, then we can get ln of y equal to ln of x raised to tangent x. And then this is equal to using a property of ln. We can bring down the power of x. So we can write this down as uh, tangent of x ln of x. Okay. Now we do implicit differentiation. So we take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. And here we'll get the derivative of ln y, y is a function of x, is equal to 1 over y times the derivative of y. So that is equal to y prime over y equal to, so the derivative of uh, this one, tangent x. So that is equal to uh, derivative of tangent x, ln x is tangent of x times the derivative of ln x, which is equal to 1 over x plus the derivative of the first factor, tangent x, which is equal to secant squared x, and then times the second factor, which is equal to ln x. And here we can already find the derivative of y, which is equal to multiplying y both sides, but our y is equal to x raised to tangent x. So therefore, I can now write down y prime as x, raised to tangent of x okay, times the expression. I'll combine uh, these uh, two as a single fraction. So I can write them down as tangent of x plus secant squared of x ln x all over x. And this is the derivative of y with respect to x. Now let's find the derivative in a different way. So this time, okay, Let's uh, use the method which we call uh, exponential differentiation. So this is our uh, second method. Okay. So we call it exponential exponential differentiation. Okay. So in this case, we're going to use a property of uh, exponential. Okay the e so because this uh, the given function y equal to x raised to uh, tangent x we can actually write this down as an exponential function with base e a natural exponential function so if you still remember x can be written as e raised to ln x okay so we can write this down as e to the ln x tangent of x which is of course equal to e raised to tangent of x ln x and uh, we know already a derivative formula for e raised to a function of x and the derivative is just equal to itself times the derivative of the power or the exponent with respect to x so if we're going to uh, take the derivative of this with respect to x then we're going to get 
okay so y prime is equal to we just copy the function which is e to the tangent of x ln x okay and then times the derivative of the exponent which is again derivative of a product so it is equal to tangent of x times derivative of ln x which is 1 over x plus derivative of the first factor secant squared x times the second factor which is equal to ln x and of course we can write this down as this expression is just equal to x raised to tangent x so we can write it down as x raised to tangent x times again i can write this expression inside the grouping symbol as a single fraction so i can write it down as tangent of x plus uh, secant squared x and then ln x which is exactly the same as what we got a while ago so if we look at this uh, solution we can actually have already a formula okay formula for the derivative with respect to x of f of x raised to g of x and what is our formula it is just equal to itself okay f of x raised to g of x and multiply it okay by the derivative of the product power times the ln of the base okay so one way to find the derivative of this uh, function raised to a function is just copy the function and then take the derivative with respect to x of the product of the power times the ln of the base let us now move to our uh, third method okay which is the fastest way to find the derivative of a function raised to a function so you can find the derivative of such an expression in one step so let's call this uh, power exponential differentiation power exponential differentiation okay so in this case so we go back to our problem again we're given y equal to x raised to tangent of x okay so from this one you can immediately find the dy over dx okay which is equal to tangent of x x raised to tangent of x minus one and then plus x raised to tangent of x times ln of x times secant squared x now how did i get this answer okay so to get this uh, first term here okay just treat the y okay as a power function as a power function okay so treat the y as a power function like uh, x raised to n okay so the power is constant and the base is x in this case so treat tangent x as a constant so when you take its derivative you bring down the power and subtract one from the power it is just an ordinary power rule okay now how how did i get the second term so in this second term you just treat y as a exponential function in this case so we treat it as a exponential function okay exponential function like in this case uh, a raised to a function of x okay so if we treat this as a so the base is constant raised to a function of x so from our differentiation formula the derivative will be we copy the exponential function x raised to tangent x times ln of the base so that is ln x times the derivative of the power with respect to x which is equal to secant squared x if we factor x raised to tangent x from uh, these two terms okay we can write our answer okay as exactly the same as the one that we got using the previous two methods so now let's try one more problem using this uh, method uh, three so let's have uh, suppose we want to find the derivative of y which is equal to this time our base is uh, ln x 
and then the power is uh, sin x. So using the last uh, technique, we can immediately find its derivative and it is equal to first we treat this as a power function so this is a function raised to a constant okay and to find the derivative of a power function so you ex you apply extended power rule so you bring down the power okay so this is like a power rule with a chain rule you bring down the power you subtract one from the power and then times the derivative of the base which is equal to 1 over x and then plus now we treat this one okay as an exponential function okay so the base is constant and the power is a function of x and using the formula for derivative of an exponential function so it is equal to itself so we just copy the function ln x raised to sine of x times ln of the base so ln of ln x and then times the derivative of the power which is equal to cosine x and this is already the derivative of y with respect to x so you may try the other two methods using logarithmic differentiation or exponential differentiation and check whether you can arrive to uh, an expression which is equivalent to this one Okay, that's everything for this lesson. If you like the tips in this video, please make sure to hit that like button below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see the new videos that I release every week. Again, this is uh, Dennis of KO Math. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time.